Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Wazuka was agitating. Okay, I was talking about those who migrated. I don't blame those that want to jackpa. You know, initially I was saying don't jackpa. Do you hear me say that again? Jackpa if you want to jackpa. Because you look at the country and say, what future? If it goes on like this, what future? If it goes on like this, civil war is imminent. If it goes on like this, military intervention is imminent. Do we want to go back to that? No. no. Something must happen. I have always believed that something must happen. Do you see the way we pray in this church? Make Nigeria one. We don't pray. Nigeria is not one and it can never be one. There are reports of insecurity again from across the nation, especially from Shara reporters because a lot of uh, news media, they have found them from reporting the insecurity challenges going on in Nigeria. You know, some of them were not bound, but they were bribed. You know, they were allegedly bribed not to report the insecurity situation going on in Nigeria. I could remember Tinubu saying when he was sworn in that the uh, news media should not report about bad, bad things going on in Nigeria. And that is to tell you the heart of people they call leaders in Nigeria. If something bad is happening, don't report it. If something good is happening, report it. So even though everybody is dying in Nigeria, nobody should report it. But that is why we are here to tell you so many things that are going on in Nigeria. Now, let us start with this. Some months ago, three months ago, I told you, if you have been following me, I told you that they were in flow of a swap. Some terrorists who came from Benin Republic into Nigeria because they were chased out from Benin Republic. They came to join their people, their counterpart in Nigeria. Shara reporters also reported that fact, and I got the information for some information about that. Then, after the information, I was expecting the military to take over, uh, the military to string into action, I mean to say, you know, to take over the areas that were surrounded by the terrorists and do the necessary thing they're supposed to do. But unfortunately, I forgot and I was dumb, thinking that the military, you know, can fight insecurity in Nigeria. Not uh, forgetting what uh, T.Y. Danjuma said, that they are colluding with them, to wipe us out. Anyway, the thing has been happening time with that number. Last month here, the repentant Boko Haram who were inducted into the military, you saw what they did, right? Yes, they took away the whole ammunition. They took away the whole, um, he lost everything, they ran away. They were repentant Boko Haram that were inducted into the army. So fortunate. But why I'm making this video is what happened today. Terrorists take over military training camp in Niger State. Displaced 23 communities, lawmaker, raises alarm. You might not understand the gravity of this, but I want to explain some things to you. Terrorists take over military training camp in Niger State, displaced 23 communities, lawmaker raise alarm. If the terrorists can take over military camp where they are doing training for new military, you know that place is always sophisticated with weapons, with you know ammunition, and people are there, you know, ever ready and Terrorists took over the place. If terrorists can take over military camps in Nigeria, if, if it has gotten to this, they took over the military camp, they turn it to terrorist camp. I want to ask a question. Do you people still believe that Nigeria can help you or Nigeria can save you security-wise? Remember the chief of army officer, last four we said that they don't have capacity to protect you because they are few, while Nigerians are many. He said that categorically clear. You see, these are the reasons why people want Nigeria to divide. So that each people will go and form their own security. The other day, while I was traveling, the people I was seen in the road, they were not police, they were not military. Vigilante groups, anti -cos. These are the people who are just trying to save the people. Now, I want us to read the details of this article because this is so grievous and I have to explain so many things to you for you to understand where we are now. Now, the article reads, that bandits have taken over the Nagua Mase military containment in, Ka in Katangora, displacing about 23 communities and causing alarm in Niger State out of contest. Now, do you know what 23 communities mean? 23 communities. I mean 23 communities. 23. <laughs> After taking over military camp, they took over 23 communities. How many communities do you have in your senatorial district? Nigeria has been divided. The, the terrorists are needing one side and the so-called Nigeria government are in charge of one side. Now, the cantonment 
a key Nigerian army at Tindare training site, now hosts at least eight bandit camp. <laughs> camps, presenting severe security threats to nearby villages out of, out of um, contest. Now, eight bandit camp took over the training camp of the military. Now, they have eight bandits camp. You know, when they call bandits, people who are not, you know, cognizant with Nigeria situation will think that they are people who are characteristic. When they say bandits in Nigeria, bandits connotes terrorists. Bandits connotes terrorists, so they are terrorists. So they took over military camp and they set up eight camp. So what are they going to do in that eight camp? Normally, they are going to train their people because that place was... Um, you know, training camp for the military. And someone called me today from Benue State when he received this news. So, Coach, you said this thing before. Do military hand over this camp to them or they took over? How they took over? How possible? What is Air Force doing? If they took over, then Air Force should come and wipe them up. I said, no, 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 no. These people, they work hand in hand. I have the evidence that they are colluding, you know, working together for this. So, that is all. Uh, but let me continue with uh, this article. So during Tuesday plenary, Honorable Abdullahi Issa of Katangora II raised emotion about the ongoing attacks and reported that some residents remain captive. He said the presence of bandits has led to incident attack on the communities within the camp. Issa said the military camp, which extends from Katangora local government to part of Marika local government has been taken over by terrorists who are said to have established at least eight different camps in the area. He said the situation poses a big security challenge to communities within the camp. The Niger State House of Assembly urged the government to work closely with the military authorities to dislodge the armed group and restore security to the region. Legislators also emphasized the need for increased military support to secure the camp. So what they are uh, fighting now is just to secure the camp. Hmm? To secure the camp, not even to fight the terrorists, to dislodge them, not even to kill them. <laughs> Nigeria, as in where, where, have we, where have we arrived here? And this is the reason why someone like me, I always advocate that uh, this country should be divided. I always advocate that people who are agitating for their sovereign state, they have the whole right because nobody should tell you that Nigeria is not negotiable. If you say Nigeria is not negotiable, so what are we going to do with all these terrorists? You know, they are just reporting it. Not that military don't know their whereabouts. We have Air Force, we have everything. Just imagine how will the people of Israel feel if they hear that uh, Hamas took over military camp, IDP camp in Israel. How would they feel? Meaning their country has ended. How would they feel if they hear like Husbanda took over, you know, FBI? FBI is even small. Um, there is this intelligence headquarter in America. Maybe they, they took over military base in America. Meaning the whole Americans are gone. And that is what is happening in Nigeria. And everybody just keeping quiet. My own is just to inform you. Anybody that has ear, let him hear. Do the courage to do it. Because it will affect even himself. It will affect all the APC powers. It will affect all the MDs of banks. The MDs of banks are the destroyer of this system. The powerful, the high and the mighty. He, he is stepping on their toes. I pray God give him the grace to do it. The next thing he should do, tell him if you know him, is to restructure this country. Nigeria is a fraud. One particular tribe repressing the whole of us. You do hear what Central Bank Governor wants to do? Just a department, the operation department of Central Bank, to be moved back to Lagos, where you have 99% of the headquarters of bank. The North is agitated. Don't take Abuja back to Lagos. They don't care. If you all become beggars, it's okay for their oligarchic mentality. I talk like no other pastor talk. I talk like no other pastor talk. Because I have seen into governance, I have seen into the church. And I know where the problem is in this country. Are you hearing me? They may not like what I'm saying, but they cannot dispute the truth. This country cannot go on like this. Okay, I was talking about those who migrated. I don't blame those that want to jackpot. You know, initially I was saying don't jackpot. Do you hear me say that again? Jackpot if you want to jackpot. Because you look at the country and say, what future? If it goes on like this, what future? 
If it goes on like this, civil war is imminent. If it goes on like this, military intervention is imminent. Do we want to go back to that? No. no. Something must happen. I have always believed that something must happen. Do you see the way we pray in this church? Make Nigeria one. We don't pray. Nigeria is not one and it can never be one. We are different nations tied together by force. We should still be one country, but let everyone govern itself the way he likes. Are you hearing me? Let the Niger Delta have their oil. Let the East have their resources. Let the Yoruba people have their resources. Let the North have their resources. Let them manage their security. Give them state police. Let everybody guard his borders. Let everybody generate his economy. Why must we generate oil in the Niger Delta and take it to the North? Why must we generate uh, uh, IGR here or the VATs and take it to the North that generate nothing? The 10 key northern states have Sharia. Sharia says no to alcohol. Sharia says no to tobacco. But alcohol and tobacco is what gives us VAT here. Yeah. And you take the money from there to spend. Where you say you don't want, but you like the money. Uh, fraud. 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 Unfairness. Injustice. Where did we sit down to make Nigeria 36 states? Where did we sit down? Nigeria was negotiated three regions. North, West, East, 1963, by plebiscite. Midwest came in. Where did we sit down and say we shall be 36 states across Abuja? And the biggest one taken to the North. More local governments. Then we came with federal character. You are qualified, but from the tribe you came from, you can't be qualified. Now, you can't pass any law in that National Assembly without Northern approval. They are in larger quantity.